Hello and welcome to Mansell Raceway for the first round of the NKRA Championship and the second time the Formula Blues have hit the track this season. On pole for this race we have the winner of Heat 1 and 2, Anthony Cleal, and alongside him Duncan McLeod, the winner of Heat 3. Ben Pearson and David Watts make up the second row, ahead of Toby Cook, Michael Bell, James Rees, Robin Stollart Stones, Russell O'Neill and Mitchell McLeod rounding out the top 10. We have two novices racing today, Alex Fortune and Nigel Vickery lining up 16th and 17th, competing for the novice class. Here we see looking at James Rees, number 71, and on board from the onboard camera fitted to number 5, Russell O'Neill, as the drivers are waiting to head out onto the track. Final few preparations, engines running. And here they go with Duncan McLeod leading the way around the shortened formation lap. Other drivers are going to come up, take the cut through here, and then form up just after the top bend. Back on board with Russell O'Neill, and you can see James Rees dancing his car to try and get any heat possible in these tyres. A fairly cold day here around the top bend. Drivers beginning to form up. So they're back on row 5 with Russell O'Neill. Alongside Mitchell McLeod there, the O-plate. Drivers now looking towards the lights. As they go green now. And away they go. A good start there from David Watts, number 31. Toby Cook goes into the middle of the track. Michael Bell in the number eight and Mitchell McLeod both around the outside. As you can see, Cleo leads out of turn one from Duncan McLeod, David Watts, and then Michael Bell and Ben Pearson side by side for fourth place. Pearson's going to be on the inside. It looks like he's going to take it to number seven ahead of number eight, and everybody else following in close behind. Up towards turn four, Cleo still leading ahead of McLeod. Bell still holding off, that looks like Russell O'Neill, and a contact in the back, that looks like Robin Stoddard Stones and Rob Mortimer slow to get away. Back on board with Russell O'Neill, still looking at the back of James Rees, number 71. Bouncing up and down in the seat to try and get some acceleration through the chicane. And it looks like Rees pulls out alongside, that's number 4 Toby Cook. James Rees down the inside into turn one, and that's going to stick. That's going to be for seventh place at the moment. It's the rundown of the top ten. Taylor Waldron in tenth place, the number ten, at the back of this uh, long train with the white bumper there. And a good start there from Alex Fortune in the blue. He's up to twelfth, the novice. And then you see Rob Mortimer has recovered onto the back of the pack, and uh, Robin Sorrow Stone still going. now down as they come through turn 5. Looking now into the chicane, Anthony Cleal in the lead with a small gap to dump on the flag. David Watts, Ben Pearson, they're staking with him and they're slowly beginning to pull away from the rest of the group behind. As Toby Cook looks like he's got a problem, Russell O'Neill darts out from behind, down the inside. And that's going to be a pass made for Russell O'Neill as David Watts there in 3rd place at number 31 sets the fastest lap of the race he's looking to get on the back of uh, Duncan McLeod. These two had a great battle all through Heat 3. McLeod came out on top then. Will he again in the final? See the top four are beginning to keep away from Michael Bell and Mitchell McLeod. Toby Cook still all over the back of Russell O'Neill. Back on board with O'Neill as he's coming into the top bend. The first four go through the chicane. See there, Sarita shown into a gap there, the red bumper. Alex Fortune still ahead of Ron show And Robert Mortimer catching the back of the main pack. As a new fastest lap set by Ben Pearson. He's in fourth. Top ten still look more or less the same. Khalil still leading from McLeod, Watson, Pearson. Taylor Waldron looks like he's catching the back of Toby Cook for ninth and tenth. Look into the distance. Looks like McLeod had a little look there. But maybe that's given an opportunity to David Watts behind. As we 
Lee now come out of the top hairpin. Khalil still leads, but McLeod has David Watts and Ben Pearson right bumper to bumper with him. Michael Bell on his own a bit, and then Mitchell McLeod has James Rees for close company for six. For Rita Schoen going through an 11th. And the battle pack from 11th down is intense and hotting up. Leal still leads, McLeod's still in second, but still very close. You can throw a blanket over these top four. They're eking out a gap to 5th, uh, 6th and 7th. Russell O'Neill starting to gap to uh, Toby Cook and Taylor Waldron as Waldron's past Toby Cook. That's for 9th and 10th. And there's a pass, it's David Waldron making the move on night of victory for further down the order. Oh, down towards the chicane again. Anthony Neal's pulled out a little bit of a gap on this lap. Can he hold it? James Reeves still all over the back of Mitchell McLeod as we jump on board to Russell O'Neill. James Reeves ahead of us, Mitchell McLeod ahead of him. Reeves moves to the inside to turn one. Looks like he's going to make the pass. Top four still bumper to bumper. In the same order, Ben Pearson and at the back of that train, and that is James Rees up into sixth place past Mitchell McLeod. So the O plate seeming to struggle a minute here. Michael Bell, number eight, the next target for James Rees. Russell O'Neill looking to get to the back of Mitchell McLeod. See there, confirmed James Rees up to sixth. Toby Cook looking at the back of Taylor Waldron. Rita Schoen in an even bigger gap now for 11. Behind that, that is Ron Schoen up to 12. Him and David Waldron both got past Alex Fortune. Nigel Vickery there looking at his novice rival with David Good and Philip Essing both uh, in the train there. Seems like the top four starting to break away and another group of four starting to form up behind them. Reed shown still in a big gap, and that's David Waldron now. He's taken 12th place. He's overtaken Ron Schoen, and Nigel Vickery has lost a few more places. That's Robin Stoddard Stones and Rob Mortimer going through. Both of them recovering from a first lap tangle. He's down to the chicane. Big speed and a lot of commitment needed for this corner here as we jump back again to Russell O'Neill. The poor run through the chicane from Mitchell McLeod and Russell looking, thinking about going to the inside in turn one. Nothing going to happen there. As a new fastest lap there set joint by Duncan McLeod and Ben Pearson. 49.73 to the same hundredth. As Russell O'Neill looking to slingshot around Mitchell McLeod. Not going to be able to do it there though. Looking back here to this battle, David Waldron starting to eke out a little bit of a gap over Ron Schoen, but that's not going to last for long. There's Nigel Vickery back on the back of Alex Fortune into the chicane. David Watts and Ben Pearson starting to close up. James Rees still giving chase to Michael Bell, and Russell O'Neill still working on trying to get past Mitchell McLeod. Here they are, one, two, three, four, as close as that, into turn two and three. Looks like McLeod and Cleal starting to break ever so slightly away. Mitchell McLeod still under pressure from Russell O'Neill. David Waldron looking like he's getting a gap on Ron Schoen, who's under big pressure now from Robin Stoddard Stones. Back into the chicane, Ben Pearson looking to line up David Watts for an overtake. They head down towards turn one. Oh, and in the background there, that's Ron Schoen sideways. Was there contact? I'm not sure, but either way, Ron Schoen losing several positions, dropping all the way back to 19th. The leaders here, nothing happening yet. Ben Pearson still on the back of David Watts. Duncan McLeod still on the back of Anthony Cleal. There's Bell and Rees. Mitchell McLeod and Russell O'Neill still together. Taylor Waldron. He's starting to fall back towards Toby Cook now. Toby Cook still in the big gap. And after that, 
maybe contact, maybe not. Uh, David Walden has got a bit of a gap. Then there's Robin Stoddard Stones and Rob Mortimer, and then the novices battle. Alex Fortune still has the edge over Nigel Vickery. Through the chicane, there's Bell, Reese, McLeod, O'Neill, Waldron, and Cook. See them foursome in the background, nose to tail as well. There's Sarita Show. As we look back to the front, and that is a pass. Ben Pearson up into third, deposing David Watts. Still some time left in this race for Watts to mount a comeback. Russell O'Neill still trying to slingshot past Mitchell McLeod, coming out of turn three. And that looks like the pass into turn one. That's David Good on Alex Fortune, possibly. Two drivers in white helmets. As the leader is now starting to come up onto the back of Kevin Top four, still very close. Michael Bell and James Rees. James Rees looking to close in. And O'Neill still looking at the back of Mitchell McLeod. As Duncan McLeod closes right up to Anthony Cleal. Almost bumper to bumper. McLeod looking for any opportunity to take the pass and potentially the win. As they've all negotiated Kevin O'Neill safely. Russell O'Neill still glued to the back of Mitchell McLeod. They're battling over 7th and 8th places. And now on the run down towards the chicane. Anthony Cleal and Duncan McLeod through the chicane. Ben Pearson is still ahead of David Watts as they're going to be seeing the last lap board soon. There's Michael Bell and James Rees, and it is in fact the leaders onto the last lap, so now has got to be the chance. Russell O'Neill here has got to run on Mitchell McLeod again. O'Neill to the inside. Mitchell McLeod staying around the outside, though. Good defence from the O plate as they come in towards turn two. O'Neill goes for a very wide entry, trying to cut back underneath Mitchell McLeod. Got to get it one more, but McLeod out of the corner very defensively. Passing Kevin O'Neill. Mitchell McLeod stays in the middle of the road. O'Neill can't do anything about it. As here we go, down to the chicane for the final time. Anthony Cleal and Duncan McLeod, first and second, number one and two. Ben Pearson, third, and David Watts, fourth. Looks like that's going to be it. Anthony Cleal wins the race from Duncan McLeod and Ben Pearson and David Watts. In a small gap as we look here, that's very close to the line. Can Russell O'Neill get the run on Mitchell McLeod? No, he's not going to be able to. Mitchell McLeod holds on to seventh ahead of Russell O'Neill. And Taylor Waldron had closed right up behind them in ninth, with Toby Cook rounding out the top ten. Microphone muted. Microphone activated. Behind Toby Cook in eleventh, and a lot of space for Sarita show. David Waldron picked up twelfth place ahead of the recovering Robin Stollard Stones and Rob Mortimer after their tangle on the first lap. Nigel Vickery is the top novice in 15th ahead of David Good, and Alex Fortune 17th ahead of Philippe Essing. Then the recovering Ron Show and Kevin O'Neill round out your finisher. 20 starters, 20 finishers, that's what you'd like to see. As the Formula Blues now head back down the pit lane and begin the long preparations for the next round at Rissington. see there the drivers coming down, there's Rob Mortimer, top novice there, Nigel Vickery all in red, Russell O'Neill and here is the official results, you can see the three fastest uh, drivers, different uh, different fastest sectors, David Watts fastest in sector one, Anthony Cleal in sector two and Duncan McLeod in sector three, a five second front fairing penalty for Rob Mortimer doesn't affect the results. Uh, fortunately for him, but uh, yeah, so the drivers now getting out of their carts, having plenty of things to say to each other after that race, action packed, like you always want to see in the Formula Blue. There's Bell and Rees and McLeod. 
they'll be seeing each other again soon, hopefully, throughout the year. So for the time being, put your feet up and we will see you at Rissington.